Smells bad. Smells bad. Ah. Weep and bell. Weep and bell. It came out. Tentacool. Hey everybody, it's Yata Magnus here to play some Pokemon Yellow. All right, so we're back again. Uh, kind of the the last episode ended abruptly uh, on the on the road to the next city, which I can't remember what it's called. So let's pick up from where we left off. Let's fight some Pokemans, and. Uh, yeah, let's just get to that next city and we can, you know, decide if we're going to do a badge or some sort of weird story type, story driven mission. Uh, but yeah, anywho, um, what's up? What's up with you guys? A uh, lot's been going on. Um, you know, I've seen a couple cool new movies, a couple cool new TV shows. Uh, I'm watching Squid Game, trying to, trying to, it's, it's October. So we're trying to do that spooky some, uh, give, give the spooky monster some of our spooks so they can be happy and have electricity. Gotta give them the screams. Ah! It's uh, Monsters, Inc., in case you didn't know what I was talking about there. But, uh, yeah, um, I watched, uh, watched some Sopranos, uh, getting ready to watch the new... Or the the many saints of Newark, the Sopranos story, or is it the new? Yeah, many saints of Newark, I think is what it's called. Uh, but yeah, I watched that one with uh, with one of my good old Sopranos buddies, and uh, old William, William, Billy Boy, I like to call him. But uh, yeah, we we watched that one. It was pretty good. The unfortunately, it's been. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm a little foggy on some of the details, some of the family names, some of the stuff like that, you know, the, the hierarchy of the, the, the mob. <laughs> and so the movie was a little bit confusing at times. And I'm kind of curious uh, for all you, all you young folk out there who haven't seen any Sopranos, seen an episode at all. Uh, how many of you guys are going to watch the new Saints or the many Saints of Newark? And out of you guys, who is going to have a desire to watch Sopranos? Or is it so confusing and you're so out of your element that you have no idea what you're talking about? I don't know. But uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm kind of curious. So if any of you guys listening uh, have any insight on that, you should let me know. Anywho, um, I spent, uh, I binge watched five seasons of American Horror Story. Um, we had a haunted house. Oh, look at that. We got a, we got a dragon, a dragon named Smaug. He will, he's after the Arkenstone. Watch out, Bilbo. Um, but yeah, uh, first episode is like a haunted house and like problems within like a, like a marriage that's, oh man, it's so complicated. Anyways, haunted house. We'll just go with that. Second season was an insane asylum and aliens, which is pretty awesome. I really liked the second season of the show. Uh, season three was witches and like a coven of witches in Louisiana. And they're look the, the previous big grandmaster witch is dying and so her powers are being kind of uh psychically siphoned into another witch and they don't know who it's going to be and so it's kind of a you know who's who's getting the crown kind of thing and you know it was okay yeah it's okay season uh season four was freak show and played off of the uh the old film uh freaks which is about some freaks who gets get their freak on <laughs> against some normies and uh you know it's a little dated the the concept of 
freak shows and calling people freaks. And, you know, part of that, the revulsion watching the show is that you know that you really shouldn't be, like, staring. You know, th that, that whole, I don't want to be, like, staring. I don't want to have them be a freak. You know, they're not my entertainment. But, you know, that's just kind of how us human beings roll. We like to look at them, you know, freaky stuffs. All them disfigurements, all them whatever. And it's a little messed up. And the show's a little messed up for it. And by the way, American Horror Story is very much not for you children. This is something you guys get to watch when you're older. But uh, yeah, I really liked Freaks. <laughs> the season, Freaks, season four. Um, I think it might be my, my favorite season of the lot. But season two is real close. Because that kind of deals with like an insane asylum. The ghost, of, you know, the mind... Scary stuff in your mind, and then aliens. Paranoia, I don't know. Season 5 was Hotel, which, eh, it got a little bit ambitious. Kind of tried to do some stuff The Shining did. You know, whatever. I don't know. It didn't quite do it for me. But, uh, Kathy Bates was really good in this season. And, uh, Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga plays, a kind of the Grandmaster Vampire of this... Who, who lives in this hotel. And uh, Kathy Bates is just some human lady whose son fell in love with the vampire lady. But yeah, so she's like allowed to be kind of like a human pet living there to watch the reception desk. They need employees in this hotel. But the hotel one kind of reminded me of that. Uh, the case of uh, Miranda Lamb. Amanda Lamb. Shoot. I'm going to have to edit this part. But... Miranda Lamb, I think, and she, her, her body was found in a, a water tower of a hotel in LA. And that hotel was, you know, the kind of house for like serial killers and rapists and murderers and ghosts and goblins and blah, blah, blah. Oh, this is where you get the fishing rod. You got to come get that great rod. So got to collect them fishing rods to catch them different fishy Pokemons. Anyways. The Many Saints of Newark, American Horror Story, uh, Midnight Mass. Ooh, I'll talk about that one next time. That was a real good one. And, uh, you know, that other show, that Squid Game, that one's okay. Anyways, brush your teeth, go to school, uh, don't be a punk. Yeah, have a good one. Give me back my son!